Hi friends, welcome to my channel Tech Reuit. If you like this video, then please do subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon for more update. Thank you. In this video, I will going to uh, tell you about the basic information about the vCenter vSphere client settings, and uh, we will just open VM, uh, VMware vSphere client, which and the host and vCenter server we have already turned on. This, this is the IP of the vCenter servers and username and password the basically uh, uh, I, I will just familiarize, familiarize you uh, with the option of the VMware vSphere client uh, and in detail we will cover in our upcoming and future videos uh, so basically in this video I will uh, give you an overview of the basic of overview of the options in the VMware vSphere client uh, which you can go by clicking on home and you can see the different options like inventory administration management uh, and you can, as you can see inventory related options like search, host and cluster, web and data store and it just, just, just with the inventory administrator you can uh, roll uh, uh, you can see the administrators there's different options and and in management you can see the different options as you can see host and cluster it will just show you the host and different clusters uh, there it will just list to the option they say you can inventory in inventory if we will click in inventory your virtual machine uh, i have clicked i have selected the host so if you want to search the host you have to select the host is ignore this option and yeah i have just typed the uh, last uh, two digit uh, uh, number which is 22 we have two host uh, one is 192 168 1.22 and 1.21 so uh, it is an advanced search option you can also uh, type the uh, number of the last also even if you, if you type the low, last digit of the number ip or then also it will be able to search you whatever you want to search you have to select the different kind of categories like for example i have selected folder and if i want to select the search the folder you can also search the folder like we have database option and all you have searched it from there like if you clicking on host and cluster option it will just show, list you the host and cluster option and after clicking on vm and template all the vm uh, templates which you have created of the virtual machine will be listed in this option in this window on VM, vms and template it will just show you the inventory of the templates which you have created data store is nothing but the data which is uh, used to store the virtual machine and it is the storage of the when you will create the esxi host at the time of uh, ESXi host is also stored on data store only and the virtual machine which you will create it will also store in this storage option so basically it will show you all the data store when currently we have only two data store which is data store one and data, data store one of one okay we have two host and two data stores simply so networking it is nothing but a vmware network uh, which is a default uh, standard switch network a network with standard switches is a network of virtual machines running on a single physical machine that are connected logically to each other so that they can send data and receive data from each other network a network uh, and its associated standard switches provide the interface between virtual machine nic and physical network adapter so basically it's just a uh, uh, virtual uh, switch uh, to communicate and uh, uh, in administrator role moving out to the administrator role as you can see there is a default template of the role already created uh, you can also assign this role to a user which is using the vmware vSphere client uh, and you also uh, as you can see there is a virtual machine to our users or the roles and you can also create a new role uh, uh, create a new customized role uh, by clicking on add role option up as you can see in this video you can also select the different uh, role uh, or different privileges like set alarm status like data store uh, you have to configure ESX or modify ESX or view ESX with an extension the registrar extension which extension you want you want to create folder uh, of privileges you want to create folder move folder delete folders or rename the folders you can view the access privileges from here as per your uh, requirement you can also create your role and assign that role to the users and uh, as you can see i'm just doing it and we have to click on ok the new new role will be created and you can apply that role to the users and in moving out to the next option which is session 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 is nothing but the uh, whatever active session the users in the who which you are using the vmware vSpec client you can send a message to all the users or you can just terminate the session from here also you can see the all all the active or active uh, session from here also 
and in the licensing option you can uh, uh, you can uh, apply the license key to the host from here like I click and change license key so you have a license is uh, applied on the processor basis if you will apply the license to the host it will uh, uh, it will automatically apply to all the virtual machine as well so in the uh, system log option you can see the all the logs of the vcenter server logs if any accidentally anything happens in your company and if you want to identify who has done that you can also extract the uh, 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 you can extract the customized log uh, li like uh, to investigate the issues like and you can also click on export setting option and you can just uh, uh, select according to your need and you can also select the log system logs which logs you want like virtual log and change storage system and all you can also gather perform the uh, gather information data like duration you can also select and you can select select the interval between the uh, incident and you can just click next and browse like you have to select the location where you want to store the logs okay and then you have to click on next and finish currently we are not storing Moving to the next option, vCenter server settings. You can select the licensing option to license. The, you can select the size statistics, vCenter statistics for collecting uh, vCenter statistics and all interval duration 5 minutes and all physical host 50 and virtual machine 2000. It is specified here. You can also uh, change according to your needs runtime settings these settings allow multiple view centers and all active directory like uh, enable queries enable number of minutes performing a synchronization validation and active directory timeout settings and all you can also configure the mail settings like maximum number of users and group to display in, in the ad like 5000 we have selected and you can also configure the mail servers like if you want to send any alert mail to the mail you can configure that their mail servers and ports of it here you can see the default port and tm443 you can also change from here as per your customization rule client connection timeout you can select the time connection timeout settings normal and long time logging options here the, you can select the which type of log you want to select in the logging option like uh, we have different uh, options in logging options also like currently by default information normal logging is selected and you can also select the deeper uh, log analyzation log like error only warning error warning and uh, error and warnings like verbose and trivia none disable you can also disable logging from here of the central log you can select the database how many database you want to connect and you can also select the database retention policy currently by default is 180 and use this option to limit the growth of the database okay like you can select the SSL settings so vCenter requires a verified host SSL certificate when this option is selected, vCenter will verify the validity of the SSL certificate of uh, the remote host and establish SSL connection to the upper operation center. So if you will select the vCenter solution manager, you can see, you can see ESX agent manager. Whenever you will add the host to your vCenter VMware vSphere client, uh, it will install the agent to your host and with the help of that agent, we can perform the operation. Uh, uh, store provider storage provider is something we will uh, we will try to cover in a future videos the storage uh, uh, provider is the option which we can uh, we can add the storage or, uh, and it will provide the better visibilities and you can see the vcenter service status you can it will give you the errors and uh, all the warnings uh, you can see from here we currently we are getting some warnings like LDAP we don't have LDAP and we don't have DNS that's why it's going giving the error in management you can schedule a task in schedule task you can change the VMware power state you can clone the virtual machine deploy a virtual machine migrate a virtual machine create a virtual machine create a snapshot of virtual machine 
you can do it by scheduling it uh, sitting in your home if once you have scheduled it will automatically do the task complete completely and you can see in the event it is the event which is generated by the vCenter server or host whatever event is generated you can see here and you can also export this event like you can see the option upside export events you can see the different types of events which is generated vcenter server overall heat change or whatever vcenter is stated user administrator logged out user administrator 1.20 logged in user administrator logged out successful login by the administrator as you can see the different types of uh, events which is generated and next option which we have is maps it is also a very good feature in the uh, VMware vSphere once you will select all the component in the like host and uh, clusters it will show you in the between uh, like uh, virtual machine uh, resources and how which type of log you want like host to vm if you will select an host to network it will select and apply relationship it will apply the relationship for example we have selected a host and data store it will show you after clicking on apply relationship it will show you the relation between the host and uh, data store as you can see we have uh, uh, two two host where which is one is 22 and one is 21 and you can see the different data store for each host and you can also extract the uh, uh, you can also maximize the size and you can also print the map you can also export the map as a jpg image format uh, this is also basically a very good option for troubleshooting and if you if you want to give the knowledge transfer to the next employee in the organization this will help a lot and and if you will click on a host profile host profile the host profile view is management area of the vSphere client for host profile this view allows administrator to create edit or delete host profile you can attach a cop apply host profile to host and a host or cluster in this view or in the host and cluster view when you perform a host profile operations in the host and cluster view you can right click individual host or cluster in the inventory for some operation or use the profile compliance tab for cluster level host profile operations with when a cluster is selected so basically it is just a profile which is applied on a host and cluster you can apply a setting to a host and cluster which will uh, this topic will cover in detail in upcoming videos vmware storage profile you can the vmware storage profile view is the area of the vSphere client where you manage storage and all okay customization specification in customization specification you can select the new customization enter the name for the new customization specification basically you can customize and also i will co cover many of the topic in detail in my upcoming videos it is just a basic overviews uh, i hope you like this video thank you